Hello friends, this is uh, video number two. Thank you for all the love you gave me on my first video and the feedbacks. I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to start off by introducing myself. I'm a navigating officer sailing on tankers. I'm Suhail Prasha. Today I'm going to cover a few topics about moon. I'm going to cover two topics. Number one will be sidereal period of the moon or a revolution of the moon around earth. And second will be synodic period or you can call it the lunar month or lunation. What is the difference between these two? I'm going to go step by step with the diagrams. Let's go for it. All right. Here you can see I've made a colorful diagram so that we understand a little better. This is Earth. This is Moon. This would be Sun. Now, as we know, Moon goes around the Earth and Earth goes around the Sun. This is a very basic thing that we need to start with. Okay, so here what happens, first of all, I'm going to talk about the sidereal period of the moon. Sidereal period of the moon is the time taken by moon to complete one revolution around the earth. Basically, when the position of the moon is M1, if the earth was stationary and not moving, moon travels like this and comes back here M1. This completes one sidereal period. All right, now. When the earth moves and moves to figure E2, what happens? This M1 becomes M2. How do we know that? The moon here goes around the earth and when it comes back to M2, it completes one revolution or when it is in line with sun, it completes one revolution. That is the doubt that most of us have. Now let's assume this moon and sun are in conjunction with each other and let it point in a direction this is infinity or you can put a star over here the distance from earth to star is too much so this is basically used to define a direction this is the same moon you can say star 1 star 1 so what happens in this case the direction change is negligible that means this star is basically denoting the direction so what I'm trying to tell you is the moon when goes around the earth completes one revolution the moment it comes back in the same direction as that of the star the moon goes around earth comes here in this position moon goes around here comes here in this period of time the moon completes one revolution around the earth it is called the sidereal period. The value of this is 27 days, 7 hours, 43 minutes and 12 seconds. Alright. Now, this is of constant duration. As you all know, moon goes around the earth at a particular speed. That is the angular velocity. Alright. So, this is constant. Now, we go to the next topic. That is the synodic period. What is the synodic period? Synodic, synodic period or lunar month as you can say or lunation as we call it. It is basically the time between two consecutive new moons or full moons. First of all, let me just talk about new moon shortly. What is a new moon? A new moon is this position where moon and sun are in conjunction and in same line. So now in this position what happens? M1 moon is going around the earth by the time moon completes one revolution earth moves from here to here as we know earth is going around the sun it takes 365 days to cover the full area basically to cover the revolution what happens now by the time moon reaches back to the same position as before that is M2 earth shifts from here to here you can see it has reached in the same direction that completes one sidereal period but we do not have a new moon yet so for our counting for our maths for our daily use the lunar month is new moon to new moon hence moon will have to travel from m2 to m3 this extra distance what is this distance extra to be in conjunction with the sun hence this is called the synodic period and it is not of constant duration why because you can see it depends on the movement of the earth and as we know the speed of the earth the angular velocity of the earth around sun is not of constant value what i'm trying to tell you is in this video 
the difference between the two the revolution of the moon around earth is completed when it reaches here but the lunar month is not completed at it gets completed only when the moon reaches in position m3 now the synodic period has an average length this is the average length 29 days 12 hours and 44 minutes so for a daily purpose we can see if we have a new moon today or the opposite if we have a full moon today then after approximately 29 and a half days we'll again have a full moon you see it completes the full circle and comes back to the same position it completes waxing and waning basically the new moon here whatever you visible to you that is mostly nothing zero you don't see anything from here when moon comes in this position you will see a shape called crescent half moon gibbous full moon so this complete cycle and again the moon starts waning here and the area visible to us reduces and finally reaches the position m3 okay so now what happens is to complete one synodic period the moon has to revolve around the earth 360 degrees plus angular motion of the earth around the sun now due to this reason the synodic period of the moon is longer when the earth is near perihelion what is perihelion now perihelion is when moon is closer to earth and aphelion is when moon is away from the earth because as you know i have drawn this as circular orbits but actually moon moves in an elliptical orbit around the earth similar to earth moving around the sun therefore this time period synodic period or lunar month is not constant it varies depending on the position of the moon okay i think that covers it i'll talk about rotation of the moon and shape of the moon with respect to the horizon in my next video